Hi everyone, it's Chelsea here. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're back in the kitchen and we're going to be baking today. So we're going to be baking the Free From Mermaid Cupcake Mix. So this is what we're going to be making. Um, as you all guys, know, all guys know, I have a dairy allergy. So obviously I had to pick up the Free From range. But these are just come into Tesco, so they're new. So I thought I'll do um, a bake with me today. So wish me luck because baking doesn't usually go right with me. But hopefully baking a cake mix will because my previous cake mixes have gone pretty well. So wish me luck and that's what we're going to basically be doing. Right, so the ingredients you're going to need is dairy-free butter. So this is the dairy-free butter I use. It's just Vitalite dairy-free butter. You're going to need an egg. And as I said before, I don't know if I actually have an egg allergy yet. So we're just going to bake them and see how I go. If I have a reaction, you know then I'm allergic to eggs. Um, so you just need one egg and then you're going to need soya milk and then it's just like the cheap soya milk um because obviously i can't have proper milk because i have a dairy allergy so that's everything you're going to need oh and you're going to also need a mixing bowl and i don't have like a tray to put my cupcakes cupcake cases on so we're going to be using a cheesecake baking tray i have two of them and then a weighing scale, which is usually my weighing scale, you know, I, I always use. But that's over there, I'll get it in a minute. And um, like a, a mixing, or what you call it, like, um, like a spatula to uh, mix all the ingredients. So that's what we're going to do right now. So wish me luck. So the first thing you want to do is... Preheat the oven to 18 degrees, which is 160. So that's what we're going to do now. Um, and then put the cupcake tray, uh, cupcake tray cases into the tray. So that's step one done. Um, step two is empty the contents of cupcake sachet into a bowl and add the egg. Um, and then add 30 grams of dairy free butter. Uh, mix with an electric mixer. Well, I don't have electric mixer, so I'm just gonna use like a normal whisk. That's the word I was looking for, whisk. Um, for one to two minutes until it's smooth, uh, in the center, preheated oven, bake for eight, for 15 to 18 minutes. Uh, right, so I need to, doesn't say, oh, and add the soya milk. So the soya milk, I need three teaspoons. Uh, 
so we need a teaspoon. Um, so that's what we're going to do now. It's a Lady Gaga um, non-lyrics um, background noise because obviously I can't play like a normal song because it'll get copyrighted. Um, so we've literally just got um, background music going. Uh, right, so an egg. I'm not very good at cracking eggs. Ooh, as you could tell. You're going to need 30 grams. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Now this should be enough. Perfect. Then you want to pour your butter in into the mix.
Oh, it smells amazing. Look how nice that looks. Right, I think that's mixed enough. So that's all mixed now. Um, so step three is pour the mixture equally across the cupcake cases and place the center a uh, place in the center of the oven of, of the preheated oven for 15 to 18 minutes. That's what we're going to do next. So to do this, you're going to need two spoons. And then you just want to scoop and then put them in equally in the cupcake cases. This is a messy job, I don't like doing this. Basically trying to find somewhere that you can actually see me doing it. I should be right now. So all I'm doing is basically scooping all the cupcake mix into the cupcake cases. I just lost a couple of days. So you want to like equally put it in. Now ready to go. So that's what they look like now. So I'm gonna put them in the oven for about 18 minutes. So 
So while they're in the oven now, I'm just gonna clear up my mess. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna record myself clearing it up because my mum's home like any time now. Um, so I'm just gonna clear up my mess and then I'll get back to you then when they're done. And I think the next step then is to do the icing. And wish me luck with the icing because that's the worst part. I hate icing. Like, I hate making icing. So I might get my mum to do that bit. Because I always... Somehow, I always mess it up. But, um... So I'll get back to you now when the cakes are actually done. So you can see them. And then we'll wait for them to cool down. So we're now going to do the icing. So you're going to need another fresh mixing bowl. And then you're going to need both icings. Because one's blue and one's pink. And you will want to mix them together. And then these are what the cakes actually look like right now. I don't know if you can like, see that. Can you see them? But it's basically what they look like. That is basically what they're looking like right now. And we're going to decorate them with icing. into the first one into two separate bowls and mix each with 30 grams of dairy free spread using a piping bag add each of the icing mixes side by side in the bag and pipe onto the cupcakes well I don't have a piping bag um, so I assume that we make one icing and then we make another one but why would you add butter to icing you add butter to icing i thought it was water Empty the frosting mixes into two separate bowls and mix mix each with 30 grams of dairy free spread. Using a piping bag, add each of the icing mixes side by side. Okay, so there's no water. It's my dairy free butter gun. It's strange, isn't it? I don't never added butter to icing. I'm gonna Google this. I literally just Googled it. Um because it's frosting, not icing, because I think maybe icing has dairy stuff in, but this says frosting, so it just says 30 grams of dairy free butter, so that's what we're gonna do. I thought it was a bit strange, but according to Google it's correct and on the box it says dairy free spread so that is what we're going to do to like play the music again. A little bit more. So what this basically does, because I've just Googled it, it makes it more creamy. So you know like buttercream, that's what basically this is. Good 
Christ, you need loads, like. looks perfect. Uh, where's that icing bag on? So now we want to add the butter to the uh, frosting. I want to call it icing but it's called frosting. I think we want to do the same with the other one then. Once we mix the thing. Can I use my mum to look at this because it doesn't look right. Oh wait there, it's starting to thicken up. It's okay. We need end of a mess. Yeah, it's starting to thicken now. Oh, look at that colour. It's like turquoise blue. Oh, this is looking perfect. Perfect. Over there. So that's basically the frosting. It's a beautiful colour. So all we need to do now is not get frosting everywhere, but we need to spoon the frosting onto the cupcake cases. Uh, onto the sponge, sorry. This is perfect. Look at that. I think I got enough for the other one. We saw something. Some of this off a bit so we can put some on here. There we go, much better. Right, so we're gonna go make the pink one now. So we're gonna do the same with the pink icing. So I've got a fresh bowl now. 
Um, so we're gonna need to pour this into the bowl and do exactly what we did with the blue one. Sorry, I've got hiccups today. Literally. You want to do 30 grams of butter again. Perfect. Then, then you want to pour the dairy free butter into the mixing bowl. And you just want to like mix it now to get this butter off. You're going to use your whisk and then whisk away. You have the mess. It's starting to be thick enough now. Perfect now. Oh. Perfect. So that's the pink. It literally looks like angel light. You want to do the same like you did with the blue one. You want to scoop it and then put it on the cupcake cases. It's not going to be brilliant like the box, but it'll do. Not a professional.
And then these are the end results. I'm sorry about the mess, but I'm just messy. But these are them. I almost forgot. Um, shout out to one of the girls, uh, Joanne and Lewis, um, for suggesting this video. I hope you enjoyed, lovely. So anyways, that's the end of my video now. Um, I'm just going to leave them in the fridge um, to harden overnight. Um, but yeah, I had fun making them. The um, the frosting was a bit weird, like you didn't like have to add water, and I thought that was a bit strange. So that's why I googled it. Um, but in my next video now, I'll let you know like how they tasted and stuff. Um, but hopefully they're nice because I want to make the unicorn ones next. I think I'm making one of them with one of my friends. Um, but yeah. So anyway, that's the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more videos from me, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.